on a website and everything else, try and avoid pop-ups. Pop-ups were a thing of the 90s or in the year 2000 where it was cool and it made it look like your website was whiz -bang. But these days, people don't want to do that because sometimes your pop-up may come and close the whole screen. And guess what the person is going to do? They're not going to enjoy that experience. And guess what is also going to happen? They are going to just jump out of or just press escape and go out of that website. So pop-ups are not just bad, you know, especially on an SEO perspective, because they also confuse what your web website theme is all about, because they are usually coming up with different content than that is already presented on your website. So, you know, on an SEO perspective, but they also end up annoying your visitors, like I said. So since I think it was 2017 or 2016, Google has actually been penalizing sites that are using intrusive pop-ups. So you want to be careful um, if your web developer or if your um, website is predicated on the fact that you have to have a pop-up, most of the time, um, you know, Google penalizes that. And a lot of people already have ad blocker anyway. So it will, if your, if most of your information is on that pop-up, it will be blocked, okay? So if you're gonna use them, use them sparingly. Um, some people might use that as a, a prompt to say, hey, we are online or chat with them. That is welcome. So that also gives a good user experience that if the person can't find the information or the content they're looking for, they will be able to find it. So if it is absolutely necessary for you to use them, you know, maybe to grow your email list or maybe somebody's about to leave your website. They're called exit intent pop-ups, you know what I mean? So just display them to your users who have spent at least five minutes on your site. Now, these people already know a little bit of like and a little bit of trust. So maybe they might go ahead and see what else you're offering, all right?